Got a quick update for you guys today. I've been able to put some work into the LEGO City over the past couple of days here, and I've made some pretty significant changes to the overall layout. I've added the new car dealership here, which you can see beside the three pet shops with its massive sign. In order to fit that building in the LEGO City, I had to make some pretty significant changes to the layout. Right here you can see I moved the strip mall right beside the car dealership. So you got the Tiffany's, the Starbucks, the 7-Eleven, the Lego store, and then that condo on top. So I've sort of made like a little mall complex right here. Also I've added that Toys R Us there. So it's got a sidewalk all around those buildings and a little parking lot. Got the Lego truck in the parking lot there, unloading some fresh Lego sets for the Lego store. And then right here, you can see the existing train station. I was thinking about demolishing that building, then I, when I went to demolish it, I was like, oh, this is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna demolish it. So I just made it sort of fit in here. I did increase the size of the train platform. And then I added a couple structures right here beside the train platform which is the bus station and also a newsstand in which they sell um, some hot dogs and beverages and newspapers and whatnot. And there's the bus there on its way to pick up or check the stop to see if there's any passengers there. So I think it looks pretty good. I had, to, I had a hard time figuring out how I was gonna make that car dealership work in here because it's such a large structure. So I had to put something big beside it, so I decided to go with the Toys R Us and the Strip Mall. So I think it looks pretty good there. I really like the addition of the parking lot and the increased size of the train platform and also the bus station and newsstand. I think it looks pretty good there. The bus station and the newsstand is actually from the bus set in which you see the bus right here, but I did just increase the size of those um, pieces just so they sort of fit better in that area. Also right down in front of me here you can see my growing cargo train which has quite a few different cars on it now. This is the one that I most recently cooked up here. This is the oil tanker. Still got some work and stuff that I want to do on that one, but I think it looks good. It looks a, it's a, it's a little bit larger here than the Octan one. Got a bigger uh, diameter. So I think it looks pretty sharp. Do you have to get some bigger dish pieces so that I can sort of dish off the end? And also have to figure out how to put like a hatch and some ladders on there. Not the most experienced when it comes to train building, but I think it's a good start because there's so many wagons and cars on there, it takes two of the locomotives to pull it. So you got the uh, cargo train and heavy haul train. Eventually I'll probably make some custom locomotives or train engines as well. So you can see the, um, the hotel and the triple pet store there and then there's actually some uh, buildings facing backwards on the back there like those townhouses let's just go around and have a look at that real quickly still haven't done much over here in the train yard i did add that building that structure. So here's the three townhouses. What I actually like about the placing of this structure here is there's actually like a, black, a back sort of alley that can be accessed right through here and in behind the buildings. So that's sort of different. I think it looks pretty neat. This is such a large sign, so I had to have this strip of uh, grass here in which I could put that sign on and it sort of hovers over the building. 
see this is the train station that I was gonna demolish but then when I opened it up and took a look inside I was like hey that actually looks pretty good it's tiled it's got a waiting station it's got or a waiting area it's got a spinning door it's got some sticker pieces it actually looks pretty good so I figured why would I get rid of that this year I'm gonna add some more details some more benches and newsstands and whatnot too and here we might be able to get a better look at the newsstand and the bus station. So I know there's there wasn't very many changes, but it actually took quite some time to make all these changes, just because it's a, a lot I had to go through my head to try and fit this building in here so it looks somewhat decent. So let me know what you guys think by commenting below. I appreciate you guys viewing my video here. If you like it, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to get back to work here on the LEGO City. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.